good to see you again. It's Thursday, week eight. Yesterday we talked all about how to warm up properly for your workouts, as well as post-workout stretching. Both of these strategies will help prevent injuries and improve your recovery. Now I really want you to focus on incorporating those techniques into the rest of your workouts in this program. Now for today, we have your second upper body workout of the week. We're doing three sets of eight to 10 reps. So I want you to head over to the gym, do your five to 10 minutes of warm up cardio, and then I'll be there with you in the weight room. See you over there. All right, we made it to the gym. It's time for your second upper body workout of the week. Go perform your five to 10 minutes of warm up cardio, and then we're gonna get started in the weight room. This is week eight, so we're doing three sets of eight to 10 reps. Your goal for this week is to beat your performance from week two. The first exercise for today is the incline barbell press for the chest. Start off the incline barbell press with two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps. Remember, your warm-up sets should not be taken to failure. After you complete your warm-up sets, move into your heavy sets of 8 to 10 reps to failure. Be sure to use proper form, using a full range of motion, bringing the bar all the way down to your chest, and fully extending your arms for each and every rep. Once you complete your three sets of 8 to 10 reps, take all the weights off and put them back on the weight rack. In addition, make sure you fill out your workout journal. The second exercise of today's workout is the pull-up. If you need to add weight to stay in the targeted rep range, be sure you do one warm-up set of 10 reps with your body weight. If you don't need to add weight, you can jump right into your body weight set. Your goal is to perform three sets of eight to 10 reps. Your upper body strength should really be improving by now, and you should be able to complete all three sets with just your body weight. If you're still having trouble completing all the reps with your body weight, Complete as many reps as you can with your body weight, and then have your training partner assist you in completing the rest of the reps. Be sure to pull only with your lats and not your biceps. You want to put as much tension on your lats as you can and limit the tension on your biceps. Remember, this is a back exercise. Once you complete all three sets of eight to 10 reps, return the stool you used to reach the bar to its proper place. The third exercise in today's workout is the dumbbell side lateral. The dumbbell side lateral targets the shoulders. Now before you get started, start off with two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps. After you've completed your warm-up sets, you can start your three heavy sets of eight to 10 reps to failure. Don't feel tempted to use momentum to use heavier weights. The dumbbell side lateral is an isolation exercise for the deltoids or the shoulders. As we've been stressing throughout this entire program, using momentum only decreases the effectiveness of the exercise. The fourth exercise of today's workout is the dumbbell shrug. The dumbbell shrug is an isolation exercise for the traps. Start off by doing your two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps. Once you complete your warm-up sets, you can move on to your heavy work sets. When it comes time to do your heavy work sets, your form should not get sloppy. Your form should be just as good as when you use the lighter weight. Never sacrifice your form to lift a weight you can't handle. Fifth exercise for today's workout is the Skull Crusher for the triceps. The Skull Crusher is an isolation exercise for the triceps. Therefore, during each and every rep, you want to keep your elbows stationary, only extending and flexing them, so as not to incorporate any other muscles during the movement. The Skull Crusher is sometimes referred to as the Lying Tricep Extension, so whenever you hear someone say Skull Crusher or Lying Tricep Extension, they're referring to the same exercise. Form two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps. Once you complete your warm-up sets, move on to your three sets of eight to 10 reps to failure. The final exercise for today's upper body workout is the dumbbell curl for the biceps. Form two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps. After you complete your warm-up sets, you can move into your heavy work sets of eight to 10 reps to failure. Again, I wanna stress, eight to 10 reps means you should be able to complete at least eight reps, but no more than 10 reps. If you can complete 10 reps or more, should increase the weight for the next set. If you can't complete eight reps, then the weight is too heavy and you should decrease it for the next set. Make sure you're only using your biceps to complete the curls. Never use momentum or swing the dumbbells up. Rob is demonstrating perfect form, which you should follow. That brings us to the end of today's upper body workout. Now what you wanna do is take a look at your workout journal and compare your performance from today to week two. Your goal is to have beaten week two's performance. If you did, you accomplished your goal and you did great. If you did not beat week two's performance, then you need to reevaluate the effort you're putting towards your workouts. There's no time to mess around. Each and every workout needs to be at 100% intensity. You may also need to reevaluate the effort you're putting forth to getting all of your meals in and getting enough sleep each and every night. If you're not getting all your meals in and not getting enough sleep, you may not be able to put forth 100% intensity towards your workouts. 
So at this time, reevaluate everything you're doing and change what needs to be changed. All right, you still need to do your post-workout stretching and meet me back in my office. Another good workout, really focused on warming up properly, lifting intensely, and doing your stretching post-workout. All the effort's really gonna pay off. We have a few weeks left on this program, so be sure you focus in all your workouts and do everything you need to do. Tomorrow, you have your second lower body workout of the week, so go home, rest up, get all of your meals in, and come ready to work. I'll see you tomorrow.